Iggy was a shy little iguana. He never liked to draw attention to himself. His favorite thing to do was to be invisible and lick ice cubes. Hey Iggy, you want to join the running team? The iguana running team we meet on Wednesdays and Fridays. Oh, no thanks. I just want to lick my ice cube, but thanks anyway. All right. Hey, Iggy, it's me. How would you like to go for a swim? The water's really nice today. Oh, no thanks. I just want to sit here and lick my ice cube. Oh, all right. Day after day, Iggy's friends asked him to do things, but he just wanted to sit on his rock and lick his ice cube. Hey, Iggy, you want to go over to Mr. Smith's garden and eat all the greens? No, I'm good. I just want to sit here and lick my ice cube. Huh, all right. Soon, no one came to see Iggy, and he was starting to feel kind of lonely. Hmm, no one visits me anymore. I'm kind of sad. I wish I had a friend. Suddenly, Iggy heard something. Help! Help! Iggy ran to the rescue and jumped in the pond water. Here, jump on my back! He was able to rescue a little iguana. Hi, my name is Iggy. Hi, my name is Iguana Lynn. Thank you for saving my life. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Oh, but it was. You saved my life, you know. I don't know how to swim. And I'm new here. I don't have any friends. Do you know where I can find a friend? Uh, I, I can be your friend. <gasps> really? Oh, that would be swell. Yeah, I need a friend too. Hey, how about if I teach you how to swim? Oh, that would be great. All right, let's go jump in the pond. So the two of them jumped in the pond. Psh, psh, and Iggy showed her what to do. Okay, move your legs like this. Okay, keep paddling. Okay. Go the same way I'm going. Paddle, paddle, move your legs. Okay, there you go. Keep moving them. Oh, this is fun. I didn't know swimming could be so fun. Usually I'm just trying to survive. Oh, no, you're doing great. And so they swam and they swam until they got a little tired. Wow, that was great, Iggy. Oh, yeah, thanks. How would you like to go for a run? Sure, and so they ran around, and they ran. They did things that Iggy would never do. And so they got hot and sweaty. Hey, how about if you share my ice cube with me? It's still not all melted. I love ice. Really? Usually my friends don't like ice. Well, at least the friends I used to have. Oh, no, I love ice. Go ahead and lick some ice. I love ice, too. Sure. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. And the two of them licked ice all afternoon. And Iggy was never lonely again. Hi, guys. So today, we're going over the letter I which has two sounds, but we think of them as the names of the characters in our story. The first one is I, for Iggy, the iguana. He was green, so it's coded green. So you know to say I, for iguana. He loved to lick ice. Remember our story. He loved to lick ice. Ice starts with I, I for ice. And so there's a little puddle under it because ice melts. 
It's also the name of the letter I. I for ice. And I for Iggy. Oh, hello. And now we're off to cover letter sheets. Okay, so the little I only takes up one space. Not the upper space. Oh, no. Just one space and nothing in the grass. Oh, no. So we're going to do the green I for Iggy the Iguana. Okay, so go ahead and get a green marker and go ahead and put these in a cover letter sheet. You can use washable markers or a wipe-off marker. It's a line letter. Start at the cherry, just go down and give it a dot. Yeah, there's if for Iggy. And you need to say it, if for Iggy, if for Iggy. Okay, so use the green to remind you. Okay, we've got our card here, if for Iggy. And you can use these ideas. All right, now we're off to the the eye for ice. Okay, I have my ice cube, and I have just a regular eye with a little puddle because ice melts. Okay, so go ahead and get a black marker. Start at the top, go down, and give it a dot. Okay, now to remind you that this is going to say eye for ice, Maybe give it a little puddle, a blue at the bottom. A little puddle. There you go. All right. So we've got our I for Iggy and I for ice. All right, then we can flip it over. And we've got a big eye. All right. So we're going to do the top row green. Start, and it takes up two rows. Okay, as you can see. So we're going to go down once and then over toward the honey line once and twice. There's our big I for Iggy. Keep going. Okay, great. Get a black marker and do the bottom row. I for ice. All right, get a blue marker and put maybe a little puddle under them. Okay, and that will be your reminder that this is I for Ice. Good job. Oh, hello guys, it's me, Jerome. Just gonna give you a fun example. We're going over the letter I today. As you know, I has a very long sound. I, it's very long. And remember, we can put a puddle under it, I for Ice, okay? It's very long sounding. That's the, the name of the letter. And it has a little short sound, I, you know, for I for Iggy. So you can remember when it's green, I for Iggy. Here's I for ice, all right? Now, I've got a little house here made out of snow. It's called an igloo. It's made out of cubes of snow, of like bricks of snow, I should say, okay? Like in cold places when they don't have a tent or a little house, they make uh, bricks out of snow and make an igloo. Here's a little fox. Hi, fox. All right, now listen to it again. Igloo. Is it the I, the short one, or I, the longer one, the longer sound? Okay, igloo. Is it the I for, you know, Iggy? I for igloo or I, I glue? Which one? I, igloo or I, I glue? Which one is it? If you guessed I for I glue, now that sounds silly. Okay, if you guess I for I glue, you're right. Good job. All right, good job, guys. Hello there, it's me, Ellie. All right, so I have another example. One of my favorite foods. This is ice cream. Oh, yummy, yummy. Okay, now. Look at your eyes. We know that the I family has two sounds. We have I for ice. It's very long sounding. I for ice. And then we have I for Iggy. Very short sounding. Okay, so ice cream. Do we say I for is cream? Oh dear, oh that sounds silly. Okay, or do we say I 
for I scream. Okay, so if you said I for I scream, you're right. All right, now I can have a bite. Delicious. Hi guys, it's me, Jerome. We're ready for letter art. Oh yeah. Okay, so you know we're going over the letter I today. And we've got the I for Iggy. Yeah, and we've got I for ice because Iggy likes ice. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna draw Iggy. So go ahead and get out a dark marker. And we're gonna start with the head. And I've got an easier way to make this than this uh, puppet. So go ahead and we're gonna loop around to a pointy nose. We're gonna make the head first. Okay, maybe zoom in a little. All right, now we're gonna start up near the top, go up and curve around, make the tail, and come back and go under the neck. Okay, up and down. Curve around, and then go down, and then go all the way to get to that under the jaw. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna give him some little legs. So he's starting here and here. Maybe a few little toes. Okay, good, now we've got little legs behind there, so start right there, and a couple little wiggly lines. Yeah, like that. Okay, we're gonna give them some big eyes. So big circles for eyes. Give them the first one inside the head. Give it a round black dot in there. If you wanna leave a shiny spot, just go around a white dot. Okay, now we're gonna start make a half circle. Okay, and then put a little curvy line and then leave a little white spot for a shiny spot. Okay, there's his eyes. Give him a little tiny mouth. Okay, and a couple dots for his nose so he can breathe, you know. All right, good. Okay, there's, um, we need our little spiky things for the iguanas. They have those spiky things. They get smaller and smaller. There you go. Okay, there's Iggy the iguana. Yeah. All right, go ahead and get like a light green marker. Color them all in except for his eyes. Yeah, good job. Color away. Watch out for the eyes. Good job. Remember, if you color on the side of the marker, it makes a bigger mark, it makes it a little faster. And then the point is to get in smaller areas. That's good. Okay, maybe get a dark green marker or brown if you don't have dark green. Color in the spikes. Remember, you can always pause if we're going too fast for you. Okay, there's our little Iggy Iguana. Okay, we're gonna give him a green I. Yeah, very good. Okay, now let's make an ice cube underneath him. So get a black marker. Okay, and we're gonna draw two, we're gonna make a square, two lines. Uh-huh, close up the top and the bottom. Okay, now we got a diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. Okay, remember when we drew the box? Uh-huh, and then close up this line and close up that line. Okay, and then we're gonna draw like a little puddle. Yeah, oh, nice, okay, move it up a little bit. Okay, get like a light blue marker or just any blue or a crayon or something. <clears throat> Color in the side there, a little bit on the top, just a little bit in there. Ice cubes are clear, you know. And then just a little bit on the paddle, okay? All right, now maybe get a darker marker so they can see. Okay, so get a black marker to write the letter I. Okay, and then get a blue to make like a puddle underneath it. There you go. Okay, there's I for Iggy and I for Ice. Kind of reminds you of our story too. All right, good job. Okay guys, it's time for review. All right, we were going over the letter I and it says I 
for Iggy the Iguana, and it can say, I for ice. Remember, Iggy likes to lick ice. So we put a little puddle under this one to remind you that it says I. And that's also the name of the letter, yeah. Okay, we're really gonna focus on the if. All right, so I've got a kit here and it's a medical kit. All right, there are some gauze and you put it around your sore. Like if you have a sore head and you can take some medical tape and you tape it. Yeah, stuff like that. Okay, can you please take that off so I can see? Okay, thank you. Oh, and my glasses. Thank you. Okay, and it's got band-aids and all that. It's a kit, okay? Set that aside. All right. We're going to listen with our ears. It. All right, first I'm just going to start with the I. Which one is it? Is it the long, is it I, the long I, I see sound, or is it the I for iguana? If you guess I for iguana, you're right. We need I, t, okay? No, that's if. No, that's not right. Okay. Okay, hmm, let's see. Is it this one? Ib, is that right? That's not right. I need a T. There we go. It. It. Very good. Okay, now I need a k in front of it. Oh no, that's fit. Fit. No, not that one. No, that's mmm it. Mitt. Okay, let's try this one. K. It. It. Kit. That's it. Good job. Okay. Here's a list to practice at your leisure. You can take a picture of this. And that's all we're going to do today. Good job, guys.